I am Representative Dr. Jure Peton for Legislative District 4. And District 4 begins in Goodyear, uh, swings out to Hillabin, Ajo, and it goes all the way out to Yuma. It's a very large district uh, land-wise. It's the size of Maryland, so there's a lot of um, distance to cover. And uh, some of the bills that I've been focusing on uh, this year, and believe me, because we are not the majority, um, I haven't done a lot of bills because in all probability they won't get heard or um, discussed or anything. But just to, to state some of my concerns, I want to reduce mass incarceration. That's one primary concern. And I know that can't be done in one swell swoop, but one thing that would help when after people uh, inmates have served their time, when they're released, I would like for them to get automatic state IDs so that they can more easily uh, apply for jobs, housing, um, transportation, and what have you. And for the last three sessions that I've been um, on the floor, I have honored African American history. And what I've discovered recently is that there is a need for an African American um, curriculum so that teachers will know how to adequately and properly teach African American history without traumatizing, de dehumanizing students because there have been a couple of incidents in the paper recently. And then a one a primary one I'm um, working on is to eliminate the dis uh, discrimination against natural hair. As you notice, I have dreadlocks. And a lot of students have been actually suspended, prevented from graduating, being forced to cut their hair because they have natural hair. So I would like to um, prohibit uh, that and create a protective, um, protective hairstyle. So dreadlocks, twists, um, cornrows, even with the Native American hairstyles. Some, some of them have been discriminated against and uh, we'll see how far they go. Some of them will have a snowball's chance in hell, but we'll, we'll keep fighting.